Hey, ChemStars, this is Mrs. Vanley bringing you a continuation of what we were doing in the last video. So in the last video, let me kind of review uh, what we did. We took the valence electrons of each of the elements. We figured that out by looking at the periodic table. And we started showing how these atoms will share their electrons. And if you recall, the goal of the sharing was that each nonmetal would receive eight electrons, or if it's hydrogen, it received two electrons, okay? But not every single molecule is going to end up with single bonds by doing that, okay? So that this section right now is going to deal with, well, what if single bonds don't work, all right? What am I gonna do? So we are going to see that you can still achieve the octet for the elements that want eight electrons um, that can't get it by single bonds. They can do it by either double or triple bonds. All right. So it says atoms form double or triple covalent bonds if they can attain a noble gas configuration by sharing two pair, which is four electrons, or three pair, which is six electrons. Okay. So a double covalent bond has shared four electrons between them, and triple is six electrons between them. So uh, we can actually tell this by looking at their bond length and their bond strength. So the single bond is the longest, then the double, then the triple. The triple bond is the shortest, and you can actually measure these lengths. You can also talk about bond strength. How hard is it to break these bonds? Well, maybe it's obvious to you uh, that a triple bond is the strongest of all the bonds, then the double, and the single is the easiest to break, okay? Um, so these are measured things that you can physically do to determine, you know, is your Lewis structure right? So uh, if you drew it so that it's a double bond, can you measure that and, you know, try to break it? Uh, you know, in the lab, that kind of thing. It's a little more complicated, but um, you can still measure these different bond lengths and bond strengths, okay? They have charts with these things on them, okay? So anyway, how do we do that? Well, basically, the rules are the same, all right? But if you follow all the rules from the single covalent um, and the central atom still doesn't have eight electrons. It says swing the two electrons from one bonding atom between another and the central atom, and you're going to form a double bond. If it still doesn't work, then swing it two more to form a triple bond. Now, if that doesn't work, you made a mistake and start over again, okay? Um, so let's check out some of these examples, okay? So do you remember what we did? All right, here's my oxygen. And I'll use this one, and it has, remember it has six? Here's my six. And then um, let's use this one. Let's put six here. One, two, three, four, five, six. You see that? So right now, how many electrons is this oxygen claiming? Count them. Ready? Two, four, six, seven. Well, that's bad. All right, how many does this oxygen claim? Ready? Two, four, six, seven. Well, that's bad. All right, that doesn't work. So what are we going to do? All right, well, let me get out my eraser. Well, okay, before I do that, what do you think this electron right here and this electron are going to do? What does it say? If the central atom, in this case, they're either the oxygens, doesn't have eight electrons. No, each of them have seven. We just counted that. Swing two electrons from one bonding atom between it and the central atom. So I'm going to swing these two electrons so that they will be in between. So I like to do this. It's going to be like, hey, baby, that's what this electron says to this one. Let's bond. Meet me in the middle. Okay, so let's try this. Ready? I'm going to take the one that was here and put it here. And then I'm going to take this green one, and I'm going to put it right here. So what does this do now for me? Let's check out how many electrons does this oxygen now claim? Ready? Two, four, six, eight. How many does this oxygen now claim? Two, four, six, eight. So this is a double bond. Why? Because there are four electrons or there are uh, two pairs of electrons. So let me show you what, what I can do here, okay? So I can do, um, let's do this here. Here's my oxygen. 
and here's my oxygen and each pair can do what I can here's my double bond so here's my structural formula don't forget I still have uh, well two lone pair around each oxygen so this is my Lewis structure and this is my structural formula so I still have two four six eight two four six eight around each oxygen well, let's do the same thing for nitrogen, okay? Ready? So how many valence electrons does nitrogen have? Let's look. Here's nitrogen right here. So it has five electrons, okay? So I'm going to use those five electrons for the nitrogen's uh, valence electrons, right? Let's go back to the next page. So what should I do here? Ready? I can go one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to take the other one, ready? And I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five. Well, I don't know if you can tell, but how many electrons are around the left-hand nitrogen? Two, four, five, six. How many are on the right-hand nitrogen? Two, four, five, six. Well, that's not good. All right, so I need eight. Well, let's see what happens. Whoopsies, sorry about that. Go away. Done, go away. Sorry. Okay, so I'm trying to get my, uh, why is this doing this? Okay, hang on, I'll, I'll stop this and try to get it back. All right, I, hopefully I got it fixed. So anyway, I'm going to move the one that was down here to here, and then I'm going to move the one that was down here over here. Well, what's just happened? How many electrons does this nitrogen now claim? Well, two, four, six, seven, two, four, six, seven. That still doesn't work. So now I need to... Get rid of this electron, race, all right, and I will put it in here. Oh, I'm going to around a room, aren't I? And then I'm going to erase this electron, and I'm going to put it here, okay? So now what does this do? I have a total of how many electrons in here? I have six electrons, uh, plus two makes eight, six electrons, and two make eight. So what does this actually do for me? Um, I'm going to do this. Here's my nitrogen. Here's my nitrogen. And I'm going to have uh, six electrons. Well, that's a triple bond. There's two electrons in that dash, two electrons here, and two electrons here. And then I have a lone pair and a lone pair. Each nitrogen has eight electrons. Oops. All right. So now what? Well, let's go ahead and do carbon dioxide next, OK? So carbon is my central atom. And how many valence electrons does carbon have? Here's carbon. It has four valence electrons. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. My one didn't turn out. There we go. And oxygen, do you remember what oxygen had? Oxygen had six. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. This oxygen has six. Ready? One, two, three, four four, five. Well, that one already has uh, two, so I'm not going to put it on here. I'll put it over here. So what has now happened? All right, if you look, every oxygen has seven electrons around it, and carbon only has six. So just like before, all right, what happens to the single electron by the oxygen and one of the single electrons of the carbon? Did you hear what they said? Hey, baby, let's bond. Meet me in the middle. All right, let's do that. So I'm going to make this electron and this electron, we're going to pair them up. We're going to meet them in the middle. So I'm going to take this out and this out, and I'm going to put them in the middle. Ready? So here is the green one, and then here is the red one, all right? And they met in the middle. Now, is everything good? Well, look at the, the oxygen. The oxygen's happy. Look at it. Two, four, six, eight. There's eight electrons around oxygen. There's still only seven around this oxygen, there's only seven around carbon. So what do you think this electron and this electron are going to do? They're going to bond in, hey baby, let's bond. Meet me in the middle. So we're going to take that electron and that electron, and we're going to meet them in the middle, all right? And here we go. So how many electrons does this oxygen claim? Two, four, six, eight. How many electrons does this oxygen claim? two, four, six, eight. How many electrons does this carbon now claim? Two, four, six, eight. Everything is good. All right, so what can I do here? Here's my carbon, here's my oxygen, 
and here's my oxygen. And so there's four electrons between oxygen and carbon. That is a double bond. There are four electrons between this carbon and the right-hand oxygen. Four electrons is a double bond. And there's two lone pairs on each oxygen. And there you go. All right, well, let's do the same thing. Hey, how many valence electrons did carbon have? Well, we already looked it up at four, right? Here's my four. How many does hydrogen have? Just one. Do you remember that? We talked a lot about hydrogen in the last uh, video. And how many does nitrogen have? I use purple for nitrogen. One, two, three, four, five. Do you remember that? We had five up here. This nitrogen, we have five down here. So similar conditions, all right? The hydrogen is fine. You can never put more than two electrons around hydrogen. But what about carbon and nitrogen? All right, they both have only six. So what do you think is going to happen with this electron and this electron? They're going to bond and they're going to, hey, baby, meet me in the middle. That's right. So I'll put one here and I'll put the one here. But we're still not there yet, are we? Because here's a singleton. And here's a singleton. You can't have single electrons. That just doesn't work. Oops, why did that happen? All right, so you can't do that. Go away. All right, I'm trying to hit the eraser. And oh, did it to me again. I'm sorry, guys. One more time, see if it works. It did not work. Hang on. Apologize for that. So we're going to take this electron and this electron, and guess what we're going to do? We're going to meet me in the middle. So here's where I'm going to put them right there, and we're gonna meet this one in the middle. So what does this do? How many electrons does uh, between, are there between carbon and nitrogen? There are six. So what kind of bond is that? That is a, everyone, a triple bond. So let's check this out. How many electrons does carbon claim? Two, four, six, eight. How many does nitrogen, whoops, oh my goodness. How many does nitrogen claim? All right, so it has, oh my goodness. All right, it has eight electrons here, two, four, six, eight. And I'm almost afraid to try the next one. How many does a hydrogen claim? It claims two, which is exactly what it wants. So that works out great. So um, why don't you try the next two, all right, and see how you do. So pause this. Do sulfur dioxide and do carbon monoxide and come back when you're ready. Okay, welcome back. Let's see how you did. All right, I'm hoping my uh, computer works better. So I have six around oxygen. I have six around this oxygen. I'll put this one over here. And how many does sulfur have? Sulfur also has six, doesn't it? One, two, three, four, uh, five, six. Now there is a problem here. Sulfur has eight, but each oxygen only has seven. So there, what's gonna happen is exactly what we said before, this oxygen and this oxygen are going to bond, and where are they going to meet? Meet me in the middle, all right? So what does that mean? There you go, all right? Now we have a little problem as well. Now we have to swing over these guys, all right, because there was too many electrons around sulfur, and I'm going to put them over here. So the name of the game is you always want to have eight electrons around each element. So if when I swung them around, I, I first took the two singletons and met them in the middle, which then made um, too many electrons around sulfur and too few around the right-hand oxygen. So I swung two over, and now that oxygen has eight and sulfur has eight. So let's just try this again. There's eight here, eight here and eight here. So the rules still apply, all right? Um, but I had to do an additional step, all right? So I have a double bond in one oxygen and a single bond on the other one, okay? So go ahead and do carbon monoxide 
and um, see how you do. All right, welcome back. Well, carbon has four, and shoot, there we go. And oxygen has six. One, two, three, four, five. I can move over here. So now what? Okay. Well, we're gonna meet me in the middle. I have some uh, other um, electrons that are um, unpaired, so I'm gonna meet them in the middle. So meet me in the middle. And we're going to do this again. So here's this, here's this. Well, what about these two electrons? They're from the same carbon. And maybe they shouldn't meet in the middle. All right, let's just put them just together, okay? Let's just put them together. So here we go. So what happens here? How many electrons does this carbon have? Six. How many does this uh, oxygen have? Eight. Carbon needs two more. So what do you think this really nice oxygen is going to do? Well, what do these elements do? They share. So that we're going to share these as well. So we're going to put those two, because remember, carbon was lacking. We're going to put them in the middle. All right, so here you go. So now what? Carbon has eight and oxygen has eight. All right, and it works. So again, I make it sound like they have you know, personalities. They really don't but they will work towards the fact that every element except hydrogen must have eight electrons around it. So if you have to move electrons around, then so be it. The only thing you cannot do is add or subtract electrons, okay? So let's kind of look at carbon dioxide again. Let's kind of go back a few, few shots of it, all right? So what could I not do? So do you remember how last time we added up a lot of our valence electrons? So here we said carbon has four, all right, and oxygen has six. So there's 10 electrons total. All right, you can't go past 10 electrons. You can't have fewer than 10, you can't have more than 10. So right now, two, four, six, eight, 10. What you cannot do, do you all hear me? What you cannot do is say, oh, carbon needs two more. I'll just put two more here. Now carbon is all right, and oxygen's fine, right? Well, yeah, they all have eight electrons, but how many total electrons do you all have? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. No, because you can only have, you only have 10 to choose from. All right, so I give 10 bucks in the bank account, you can't spend 12, all right? You can only use 12 electrons. And so that's why you just can't say, oh, here's carbon. I'll just give it two more. All right, you can't do that. So like I said, um, this is not stable. Carbon is not like a noble gas. It needs eight electrons. And how do they do that? They do it by sharing. So why is it doing this? I haven't had this problem. Okay, here we go. So it's going to take those, oops, those two electrons, all right? that were on the top, I'll put those back, and they're gonna go in the middle like we did before. So carbon has eight, oxygen has eight, and I have two, four, six, eight, ten electrons. If you wanna count up all the other electrons that we used, we have the right number. So here I have six plus six times two, that's 12, plus six is 18. I can only have 18 electrons. Do I have 18 electrons? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Yes, I do. Okay, well, that concludes this. We will work on this page tomorrow in class. All right, so uh, as always, don't wait to be great. Have a great night. We'll see you. Bye-bye.